All right, let's try this again. I wanted to make a quick video, um, just showcasing um, something I built for Ipsic competition in my area. And uh, I went with the uh, Raven 9 platform. And uh, I just wanted to go over some of the, th the things I've bolted onto it. Playing Legos. Um, I went with the Odinworks Zulu 2 buttstock. It's totally adjustable. Right? It has three positions. You move this up or down, left and right, forward and back. Um, I kept the, uh, no, I got the um, adjustable buffer from Lockhart for the Raven here. And, uh, I'm running four tungsten weights in there, just and then um, I short stroked it with probably about three dollars worth of quarters. It also has a, a secondary buffer in this one here to dampen it even further, so it, it shoots really soft. It's kind of nice. Um, moving up from there, we went with the uh, Radian Raptor. I think LT charging handle. It's, it's yeah, nice either side right um oh yeah the firearms obviously clear it's nothing, nothing in the chamber in the mag um and then we went with uh obviously the hyperfire grip uh hyperfire safety i think it's what did they say a 60 degree throw right and then um yeah i think i cut a link or two off the spring to make it a little so you can totally activate it with the one hand. Um, moving up from there, I went with, um, I picked up the, the Hyperfire Trigger. I got the, the competition one and I really liked it. So I got the, uh, the Eclipse and then I just swapped the trigger shoe, just a cosmetic. Um, moving up from there, I've got the, I guess the Vortex Venom, little 6 MOA dot on a little, I think it's a UTG riser or something. I don't know, something I had kicking around. Um, obviously the Tech Well, uh, Meg Well, which is, yeah, kind of nice. <laughs> uh, quick reloads, yeah, these are dummy rounds. But yeah, you can just basically slap it from anywhere and it just pops in no problem. It's kind of nice. Um, of course the dummy rounds, just to, just to show you. Yeah, they're just, just dummy rounds. Um, yeah, moving on up, I, I got, um, we, I've got a Faxon, Faxon barrel, 10 inch barrel. Um, I think just, uh, I forget the name. I get the handguard I got from True North Arms. It's just, uh, the one that had the blank there. So it's nice to, you know, wrap your hand around it without having, uh, to pick a tinny. Just get a nice purchase on it. And then, um, I forget what this little finger stop is there, right? It's just, it's just nice to to index right just pull it in and that way you can keep this hand nice and loose to really work the trigger quick um and then we have uh the lantec dragon for a nine millimeter um muzzle device on there uh I'm not 100 percent happy with it i'm trying to find something that just has vertical ports nothing on the side it's it's so such a soft shooting that i don't really need the the, the break portion of it so yeah anyways that's it's it's working great for now that's uh work in progress but uh yeah there it is the uh the Raven 9, totally customized. Yeah, and obviously, put
putting the shorter barrel on it right it, it's just a range toy now um, you have to register it it's pretty straightforward to do if you go on the canadian firearms site yeah they have the forms there and just call them up everybody's answered any questions i had and helped walk me through the process is pretty painless but yeah if, if anybody has any questions about how to swap a barrel and registering it and doing it properly just yeah write it in the comments and if anybody has any questions about uh the raven there yeah drop them in the comments i'll do my best to answer okay thanks for watching